Hi, my name is David P. Shapiro. I'm a San Diego criminal lawyer and the owner and managing partner of the law office of David P. Shapiro based in San Diego. Today in this video, I am going to discuss with you the different types of punishments people are facing when charged with kidnapping, particularly in San Diego. There is a big, big, big difference between general kidnapping, Penal Code Section 207, and what I like to refer to as a really bad kidnapping, Penal Code Section 209, and there's a lot of other allegations that go with it. Now, generally speaking, you know, kidnapping offenses, you, you, you take someone, they, you, they're in your car, they ask to leave, whether you know them, whether it's a stranger, you know, you refuse to let them out of the car, you refuse to let them leave, whatever the situation may be. You know, you're looking at single digits in state prison, up to, I believe, eight years. Not to minimize that, but on the flip side of it, if the belief is, if you're charged with kidnapping when the primary purpose was for ransom, if the primary purpose was to commit a sexual assault or a sex crime, then you're looking at life in prison. You're looking at several years before you'd even be eligible for parole. You're looking at the uncertainty of whether or not you'd ever be paroled. And you won't know that when you ultimately get sentenced. There are also what's known as one-strike sex offenses in California. And that's something that's prosecuted harshly in San Diego when kidnapping is at play in the course of a sex crime. These are situations where someone that may have no record at all is accused of kidnapping someone in the course of a sex crime or to facilitate a sex crime, and that person now is looking at 25 years to life if convicted. So you see the difference between regular kidnapping Penal Code Section 207, and all these variations that could get you life in prison under Penal Code Section 209 and all the corresponding allegations. It is essential when charged with kidnapping to do two things. First, keep your mouth closed. Do not discuss the case with law enforcement. Do not say, well, yeah, I knew they wanted to get out of the car and I dropped them off 10 blocks after they asked me to. No. You just admitted to kidnapping. You just landed yourself in prison in all likelihood because of your own words. Keep your mouth closed. You have certain constitutional rights to remain silent. Use them. The second thing, hire the best locally experienced criminal defense law firm you can afford. You are literally facing life in prison. Even if you get a couple of years, even if your exposure is a couple of years, think about the, what that does to your name, to your family, to your reputation, and to your freedom. Think about how you'd feel if you went at this and didn't go all in and make sure that you or your loved one had the best law firm representing them possible. We believe we are one of the best law firms possible for these types of cases, whether it's kidnapping, aggravated kidnapping, any type of sexual assault, feel free to give us a call at 619-295-3555.